एंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज जुबेरिया फिरोज लास्ट वीडियो वी बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिजिटलाइज ट्रेन वी जस्ट वेन थ्रू द सिम्टम्स इन द क्लिनिकल साइंस Uh, now this this has been a very common clinical scenario it's uh, quite easy for you to uh, understand that the, your patient has got digital eye strain now what to do if your patient is diagnosed with digital eye strain there are a number of ways that will help you uh, get rid of digital eye strain or at least at uh, the, the word that getting rid of digital eye strain i practically do not uh, practically or i personally do not uh, agree to the fact they actually don't get rid of but at least the strain or the severity of their symptoms may get reduced so that is what i have seen for uh, so many years uh, now um, when we talked about the symptoms we we told that uh, symptoms may be from mild to severe uh, one more thing uh, before you watch this video make sure that you watch my previous video on the digital eye strain so that we have discussed about uh, the symptoms and signs so after watching that when you watch this you will have a better idea on digital eye strain symptoms may be mild to severe and uh, uh, for few people the symptoms may be just temporary that means it may just uh, just vanish off once they stop using the gadgets but for a few people it may even remain after they have stopped using the gadgets so that is very uh, very serious and you have to take into consideration for any kind of people who are who are diagnosed with digital eye strain or who are prone to digital eye strain that means who have started using uh, gadgets for more than 2 hours every day and that is regular um, all these people come under the umbrella of digital eye strain and uh, the steps that we are going to discuss now it is not like um, you need to apply these steps or one by one to only those who have been diagnosed no this applies to everybody who are prone to digital eye strain even me and you can start doing this because all of us have started uh, started using the gadgets as i told you in the previous video so let's look into the five steps that we have to take against the digital eye strain step number 1 um yes using a glass would definitely help them out but before even you start using glasses there are so many other things that you can advise your patient to do the first one is changing the settings of your gadget it could be a computer it could be a mobile phone tablet or anything changing the settings the first thing is changing the lighting the brightness of your gadget always reduce it to minimum brightness so that um, um exposure of much light is reduced into your eyes so that would definitely help um when i talk about the uh, reduction of the brightness uh, many of the android phones or many of the smartphones today Uh, even iPhones, uh, many of the smartphones have got an inbuilt um, shield that uh, shields will reduce the exposure of blue light or the harmful radiations from the um, uh, from the gadgets. So always make sure that you, when you are using for too long, uh, these shields or these protective mechanisms in your mobile phones are switched on. So lighting is one important thing. Um, um, more light into your eyes would definitely cause more problem because glare and reflections so always reduce the lighting of your mobile first point second point is you can change the size of the text all of us are used to uh, um, using small text on the gadgets you can also increase this text size may not to be large because uh, uh, using large text many of would uh, many of us would not prefer but then you can change the text to medium and now it depends upon the preference of your patient your patient may prefer a larger text so according to according to their preference um, you can increase the size of the text and when the size of the text increases the visual demand decreases so visual demand is one important thing that that leads to the strain so decreasing the uh, visual demand is our um, aim behind it so you can change the lighting uh, you can change increase the text size and you can um, uh, open the or um, switch on the protective mechanisms inbuilt in your mobile phones the second point is 
changing the setting of your workstation now this there is a lot to do with your workstation when i talk about workstation it is not uh, like uh, um, many of us are using mobile not for work it is for our routine purpose or uh, like that so we uh, actually do not have a workstation now when we talk about workstation it is the way you use your gadget so that is very important first thing is to maintain a proper distance from your gadget maintaining a proper distance actually means the distance should be equal to four times the diagonal length of your gadget that is what the distance uh, requirement is actually so larger the screen farther the distance you have to keep uh, it applies for both computers and for televisions also uh, nowadays all of us are using larger led screen tvs at our home but the distance that we, we have been watching is the same so you have to change the distance larger the screen farther you have to keep that is what is better for your uh, vision so um, uh, now using a tablet and mobile phone uh, for work at a very longer distance is actually practically um, uh, quite difficult so at least make sure that you maintain a distance of one arm um, between your eyes and your gadget uh, for safe uh, second thing second thing on your workstation is the body posture you should always maintain a proper body posture that is going to help you get rid of your physical discomfort uh, please don't um, uh, crawl into your chair or your uh, um, uh, lie down your bed using a gadget um, for for some time it would be fine but for for longer hours it is going to definitely uh, bring up uh, physical discomfort to you so body, proper body posture is always well and good uh, using a gadget or a computer or uh, or such um, uh, devices um, proper body posture means you need to sit properly uh, sit properly with your uh, spinal cord erect on a chair uh, with your gadget at one arm distance and always your gadget should be at a lower height than your eye level it should always be two to three degrees uh, below your eye uh, eye level so that is always better so this is what your uh, uh, body positioning is all about then regarding the lighting it is not only the lighting on the gadget it is the lighting in your interiors also it should not be too dark or it should not be too light because both of these situations are going to uh, cause uh, uh, strain to your eyes extra excess light is going to uh, harm you uh, put in discomfort glare and uh, uh, when the lighting is less also it is again going to cause uh, harm to you so uh, ideally same the the room illumination should be half that of the brightness of your um, of your mobile so that is what is better uh, you can always avoid using um, mobile phones or gadgets in the exterior lighting because that is going to put a lot of strain and discomfort glare into your eyes so this is what uh, changes with your workstation uh, means now the third one third one the blinking rate again as i told you uh, as the visual task uh, visual demand is one important thing that leads to the strain uh, the reduced blinking rate is another important factor that leads to the strain so educate your patient um, make him aware what is the normal blinking rate and what is the blinking rate while you use gadget so always um, uh, ask him to have a check on the blinking rate uh, take uh, um, ask him to blink frequently um, and also you can ask him to take um, frequent breaks so that uh, uh, this blinking uh, blinking rate can be normalized because uh, when your eyes blink uh, the tear circulation is proper and tears are uh, play a major important role for your ocular health uh, fourth important point is ocular ex exercises eye exercises when when it comes to eye exercises i would mention about two important exercises one the most popular one 20 20 20 rule 20 20 20 rule is actually this is very important and it has been also significantly proven that this 20 20 20 rule um, uh, influences the um, uh, severity of the symptoms so you need to ask your patient to take a break every 20 minutes and look at a 20 feet distance at 6 meter distance for 20 seconds so that is what 20 20 20 rule is uh, every 20 minutes take a break for 20 seconds and uh, focus at a 20 feet distance um, uh, so you you have to um, you have to continuously monitor that the patient uh, takes up this 20 20 20 rule and 
uh, one more exercise that I would uh, like to add up to the ocular exercise or the eye exercise is a jump convergence that is similar um, you ask the patient to target at a distant point and ask the patient to target at a near point that means a near point it's uh, you ask a patient to look at an object at 30 centimeters and at 6 meters and you ask them to shift the gaze from distance to near near to distance distance to near so here uh, you have an automatic uh, exercise on your accommodation and convergence and your ocular motility so jump convergence definitely is going to help you but um, uh, the patient has to focus at Six meters so make sure you, that your patient's workstation uh, helps him out to do that uh, coming uh, to the last and the most important the crucial point is a comprehensive eye examination definitely um, finding out the, whether the patient has got a refractive error is very important because computer vision syndrome or um, digital eye strain uh, can be elevated because of a refractive error. So having um, an, uh, a comprehensive eye examination every year is definitely going to help the patient. So um, advise a patient to come back every year for a comprehensive eye examination. Your patient could be either emetropic or having a refractive error. Both ways the patient has to have an uh, eye examination done every year. Um, now after an eye examination definitely he would have a prescription and ask him to wear a computer lenses. Computer lenses will definitely help him um, reduce his strain. As I always told, uh, tell you, uh, getting rid of digital eye strain is practically um, not that possible. So you can just get reduced with the uh, severity of the symptoms. Computer lenses are definitely going to help you. Computer lenses would will have a reflective coating and anti-reflection coating which will reduce the glare and um, uh, reflections uh, um, from the surfaces. Uh, second thing they will have a blue control film in it which will control the excess uh, blue light uh, from the gadgets to the eyes. And third one they will have a mild uh, plus par that is going to help you accommodate well. So computer lenses will definitely help for emetropic patients and even if uh, the patient has got a refractive error, blue control lenses uh, of the, those powers, prescri prescription lenses, blue control prescription lenses will definitely help him um, um, view the gadgets better. So hope all these five steps were um, uh, uh, simple to you simply explain these steps to your patients and uh, I have I have always practiced this and I have found that this all together all together will help your patient um, get reduced with the severity of the symptoms of digital eye strain so I uh, hope this was helpful to uh, you make sure that you you advise these steps from today onwards thank you so much